What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This will be a spoiler free review for Never Let Go. This is directed by Alex Aja and it is written by Kevin Coughlin and Ryan Grasby. It is starring Halle Berry, Percy Drags, Anthony Jenkins, Matthew Kevin, Anderson, and several others. Now, as an evil takes over the world beyond their front doorstep, the only protection for a mother and her twin sons is their house and their family's protective bond now i will say that never let go is an intense examination of generational trauma motherly love and its harmful impacts have we seen movies like this yes and you're going to get more i'm sure of it like i always say though execution can make or break your film never let go offers a gripping narrative that demands your attention from start to finish and features a great performance from halle berry and some of the best child stars i've ever seen nolan sam and their mom, Joan, I believe is her name, live in a secluded area deep in the woods. It's, it's a sh some type of shack of sorts they have. The world has ended and they are the last remaining humans on Earth because an evil has consumed everyone else. However, Nolan starts to doubt this reality and begins thinking of ways to set him and his brother free. But what if the evil is actually real? Now, I will commend Coughlin and Grasby for addressing the obvious conclusion to the story early on. And if you've seen the trailers and spent time predicting how you think this movie is going to end, you probably already have an idea of what I'm getting at. Never Let Go does a terrific job exploring diff how different each family member is before the madness really ensues. Our trio of characters are likable enough, even if Joan is a major red flag the entire time. Joan has a dark past that isn't fully explained, which kept me invested in understanding her motivations as a mother. It's clear she loves her children and wants to keep them safe, but is it rooted in the right source? Sam is a bit of a mama's, mama knows best kind of kid, so he's down for whatever this woman has to say, which could be problematic. Nolan, his twin brother, is a bit on the fence in regards to his mother's beliefs, the alleged evil, and his brother's judgment. Nolan's critical thinking ability quickly makes him the most relatable character. I'm fully invested in his doubt because I'm doubting what's on my screen as well. Most of the terror in this story comes from toying with that fear of the unknown and whether or not these people will be able to survive in their circumstances. There's a couple of jump scares and while they don't feel earned, the narrative's reliance on making me question everyone's sanity and whether or not they can survive like this for the long haul is terrifying enough, especially during the third act where we see the themes of generational trauma hitting a boiling point. All in all, I would say the story does a pretty solid job connecting those themes into character decisions made later on. And it's just a, a great full circle moment that speaks back to how generational trauma can be passed down to your kids and how it can impact them differently if you don't address your own shortcomings before deciding to become a parent. It has a lot to say when it comes to just gaslighting too not to give anything away too specific but you'll know what i mean when you watch the film i will say what i don't particularly find the best quality when it comes to this screenplay is how up in the air it leaves things i feel like in this instance it should have made one th i feel like it should have made a few more things clearer than it did it doesn't hold your hand and i always commend that but some stuff does come off a bit incoherent but it's welcoming you to revisit the, the film once or twice, maybe even a few more times because it's not holding your hand. But when it when it lets go, no pun intended to the title, some stuff isn't as coherent as it could have been. It's not as cohesive. Now, Alex Aja's direction keeps every frame tense and unnerving. Words can't describe how powerful Halle Berry's performance is. She sells Joan's trauma quite well. One second I can be terrified of Joan and the next I'm wanting her to keep these kids safe because I understand she's just a broken woman. These kids though, Anthony Jenkins and Percy Daggs, I hope you two grow up and look back on this as a crowning achievement from your youth because you boys delivered the best child performances of the year. A lot of emotional range was on display from Daggs in particular. There's this kitchen scene that just sent chills down my back because of his delivery and knowing he's sharing this moment with Halle Berry, one of the greatest talents ever, makes it more rewarding as a viewer. Great chemistry between all three stars kept the family dynamics believable. The cinematography was fantastic. The dynamic shots featured throughout kept me immersed in the narrative, heightened my feelings of isolation, and kept the story's intensity consistent. Never Let Go does thrive in these shots that are a little out of focus, just enough to show that the characters aren't aware of what's lurking in the shadows. 
they slowly start coming in the frame but they're blurred but as the viewer we're seeing it and it lingers on these things making these moments some of the most creepiest moments in the film it does a lot of these instances where you hold the shot on a character's face then you hear a sound then the camera starts to slowly pan over to the direction of this sound there's just a lot of skillful suspense and tension building going on throughout the film even if it's not the most glorious or jump scare filled film when you know how to work your camera you know how to get under your audience's skin and thankfully never let go does that quite well it is very scary at times now i'm not saying again that the overall film is this most is these most terrifying thing that's going to give you nightmares no but it knows how to build suspense it knows how to build tension the pacing is quite impeccable at times as well when you're holding and lingering on these shots that really does get you invested as a viewer it starts to make you anxious for what's about to come next and they know that is effective and they do it so well constantly throughout the movie there is this one particular sp specific instance of this that is quite well with a dog and it's it's so it's so anxiety inducing because you're you're flashing from a certain weapon a dog's face the opportunity to pull the trigger and it's just it's just a very anxiety induced pace sequence and then it gives you that breath of relief and it's like oh, thank god just the way they do that constantly throughout the film works in its favor i would give never let go a solid seven out of ten if you haven't already of course let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you've seen it subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video